Greetings guys, this is Tokraft and welcome back to another World of Tanks video on the channel. Today we've got a pretty controversial tank on the channel, the Chrysler GF. Or the Chrysler K, however you would prefer to call it. And just as my game is about to start, unfortunately my platoon mate, Yogurt, dies because of the thing that I was most afraid about in this battle. And that is the amount of tank destroyers on the enemy team. Take a look at the top of your screen. We can see that there's a crap load of enemy tank destroyers on the enemy team. And that's something that I was really afraid for. Because as we all know, the Chrysler K is probably one of the best and overpowered premium tanks in the game at the moment. There's a lot of controversy if war, yeah, uh, yeah, on Wargaming if they even should have implemented this tank into the game. Because... Not everyone likes this tank being put into the game. But the thing is, this tank pretty much combines every good aspect of a heavy tank, which just yeah, makes it a really good heavy tank overall. One of the things that makes it really good is the armor. But the effective armor on the upper plate is only around 250 to 260 millimeters. And as we know, the enemy tank destroyers that I'm fighting against easily have got over 250 millimeters of penetration so they will easily be able to penetrate me at least that's what i thought but as we can see there's always a little bit of distance between me and the tank destroyers here so the ap rounds and the apcr rounds lose a little bit of penetration over distance and we're going to see what that does to my tank doing this replay also, if you don't know why the Chrysler K is an overpowered tank or have no idea what I'm talking about, then I hope I will make that clear uh, with regards to this replay because it should be very clear after that. So, next up, let's clear up why I even bought this tank because I don't really, yeah, I'm not really uh, the guy that, 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 that agrees with these overpowered premium tanks being put into the, the game. That's, by the way, what I mean with all the shots bouncing. So, why did I even buy this tank? Because I wasn't even planning on buying this tank. But a few weeks ago, I was just playing World of Tanks regularly. And then all of a sudden, I got a message uh, in my client saying that I've been playing the game for four years now. Yeah, of course, that's a really awesome thing. And because I was playing the game for four years now, they got me, uh, yeah, a, how is that called? A sales code to be able to buy something from the premium shop. I got a 20% discount code. So, the next thing I thought, okay, I have to buy something quickly because the next week I'll be gone. Yeah, I don't want to tell you guys what that was, but just take into account, uh, the next week I wasn't going to be able to buy anything anymore as the uh, purchase code was only yeah, active for six days or so. So I had one day only to use the code and I was thinking about buying uh, a tier 8 premium heavy tank for a very long time, for more than a year now. Uh, and firstly, my choice would have been the IS-6. But then the Defender got implemented into the game. And now the Chrysler K as well. So at that moment, when I uh, yeah, got my sales code, the Chrysler K was in the premium shop. And it was very, very cheap for a tier heavy tank. It was only 34 euros. Which is just ridiculously cheap because an IS-6 or a T-34, the... The regular pre tier 8 premium heavy tanks cost around 42 euros. So, even though this is one of the better premium tanks in the game, this tank is so cheap, it's, it's ridiculous. And also, me putting the 20% discount over it, I only had to pay 27 euros for the Chrysler K, the standard pack. Which is just, yeah, that, that's it's pretty stupid to resist that, am I right? So, I did buy this tank. Am I proud of it? No, not really. But, of course, it is good for me as I am making videos on YouTube. Of course, not, I'm not that big. But, this this replay hopefully is, hopefully is going to yeah clear up uh, the opinus. Okay, that's, I shouldn't have said that, lol. <laughs> it's going to clear up that how overpowered this tank really is. As we can see, we are losing this game heavily right now this is an assault game on sand river as we can see yeah um sand river is probably one of my favorite maps that i like to play on especially if i am attacking i don't like defending as much but defending is also all right but as we can see i've all so already blocked over 5,000 damage and that's probably prior to all those 
enemy tank destroyers. Take a look at my headlock here up. Up here. Almost all of the tanks that hit me were tank destroyers. There we go. Another shot. That's just... It, just, it was just so easy to do this. Why? Take a look at how many blind shots I'm firing, by the way. Take that into account later to the amount of damage that I will have done in this game. But just take a look. I'm just sitting here up on this midridge. I'm spotting the, the enemy tank destroyers on the other side of the ridges all the over there. Yeah, I'm just sitting here and shooting pretty much. That's all I am doing. I'm not really making calculated and smart plays. The only thing I am doing is just sitting here. Trying to spot enemy tank destroyers and yeah, just take shots at them, of course. So also you can see me firing some APCR rounds at the moment. Why did I decide to fire some APCR rounds? Well, this tank has got pretty weak penetration, pretty weak base penetration. It's got pretty much the same gun characteristics as the T-32, the tank we uh, showcased in the last video on the channel. But this tank pretty much gets a little bit better gun statistics, which is also pretty weird. Because uh, in uh, yeah, most people would share the opinion that premium tanks that should put into the game should be uh, worse than their counterparts that you can unlock by experience in, uh, yeah, in just just in the client of the game, which is pretty weird, of course. But still, this tank has got the 198 millimeters of base penetration, just like the T32. But the APCR rounds on the Chrysler are so much better. Here, just take a look. Look at how much penetration they've got. 260 millimeters of penetration. That's easily enough to be able to contest tier 10 tanks if you manage to get into a bottom tier matchup. Which this tank is entirely capable of doing. As we can see, I'm just bouncing shot after shot after shot. They go into my tracks. But I've been pretty lucky so far. Because as we can see, the enemy tank destroyers haven't really been firing APCR rounds at me. And that's when the first APCR round enters my tank. As we can see, one of the Scorpion Gs on the enemy team starts firing APCR rounds. And now this Object 704 thinks that he can take me out. Nah, no problem, mate. I'll just put a shot onto that guy. Anyway, look at what we've done so far. Almost 4k damage that we have seen at least. Over 8,000 almost 8500 damage blocked and we got over 1100 damage upon assistance i've just been sitting here everyone i i didn't make any calculated plays i'm just sitting here spotting and shooting and taking the shots but unfortunately just before the battle ends as we can see i get taken out by the scorpion g on the enemy team that shoots apcr rounds we were gonna lose this game anyways but let's see what we managed to do in this game Although I didn't manage to win that game, as we can see, I still got a first class medal for a defeat because I did over 5,000 damage in the Chrysler K in this battle. I didn't have to show off any skill whatsoever, the only thing that I did is just sit in the middle, spot and shoot. Anyways, I've got a second game for you in the Chrysler K and you will not be disappointed because in this game I will do anything but sit and shoot. So everyone, here's the second game that I wanted to show you. This is a game I played after the last game you saw on Sand River. And this time we're on Ensk, as we can see, probably one of the best maps for the Chrysler K ever. Why? There's pretty much no hills here in this city part of the map. So the bad gun depression of the Chrysler K is not uh, yeah, part of the equation, so to say. We don't have to take the bad gun depression of the Chrysler K into account. But I'm not even going to, to yeah, just mess around. I'm just going to go right into the enemy team. I'm going to play very aggressively. Why? Because I can, really. Because I know that this tank is just capable of taking so many shots without taking damage. That I'm willing to go into a very aggressive position here. Um, in a little bit of time you will see me go forward a little bit more, even. But until that comes, we can see that the team is pretty much coming with us. There's another Chrysler K on our team. And he also went just full ham. So let's see what we are able to do here. When I see the Skivvy 4 go in, I, th I think to myself, okay, let's go and take the front lines again. Because of the bad penetration, we're not able to penetrate the front of the Oho there. Even not the, the, the weak spot at the side of the tank there. But it doesn't matter. We've got the side of a lower to shoot at, which is an even yeah, easier tank to damage at the moment. I'll just take the damage where I can. And here as we can see this is just a great position. I am hull down for these enemy tanks. 
and they can't even pen it. They can't. They can't do anything to me, pretty much, because a Kipolo on the top of the turret isn't a weak spot. As we can see, here's the bad penetration of the Chrysler K. We're not able to penetrate the side armor of the Lure and penetrate uh, of and track him at the same time, which is a bit unfortunate. Which means that I have to go into my APCR rounds at the moment because also I won't be able to penetrate the front of an Ice 3 with my standard rounds, and that's because the effective armor of the Ice Ice 3 is around 220, which is a bit annoying. Um, about the Chrysler K that you're going to have to fire that many APCR rounds so quickly into the game. Uh, of course I could have tried to flank them, but why would I really, uh, right? This tank is just a bit ridiculous. So, I see that this is not going to be uh, easy damage anymore. So what I decide to do, I think, firstly, okay, I want to come around this way. But then I see that the road is blocked off by all the, the wrecks right there. So I decide to go around the other way. And as we can see, there's a lot of lightly armored tank destroyers back there. So let's see how this will go. We're almost 3 minutes into the game only, we've all, uh, already done 2000 damage, let's see if we can get some more out of this game. As I see that we're going to engage lightly armored tanks here, of course I'm going to switch to my HE rounds at the moment, unfortunately I had to fire an HE round of an APCR round at the Borsig there. He fires HE back at me, which is probably the best choice, he did over 400 damage to me, which is, yeah... A pretty significant amount against the Chrysler K. So HE round into the Scorpion. The Scorpion is just a bit out of position I guess. He should not really have come to the city I guess. But oh well. We get two very nice damaging shots into him. I immediately switch back to my AP rounds. Because yeah well the tanks that I'm going to have to engage on the enemy team right now. don't really need APCR. So there we go, nice shot into the side of the Super Pershing. The Super Pershing just can't do anything to us, even with his APCR rounds. Poor guy. I see that the Chrysler K is going to take out the Super Pershing, so I know that I can turn around even before the Super Pershing dies. Bit of a bold move really, right? <laughs> well, it's not really a bold move, it's a bit of a brave move, I should say. But oh well, there's the enemy artillery. I'm going to have to fire through the fence, as we can see, but it doesn't matter because... We know that the, uh, yeah, the, yeah, that the artillery has only got one position to be in right now. Unfortunately, he takes down the Chrysler K on my team. So that means that I get the kill on the artillery. And as we can see, just three minutes into the game, we have picked up this amount of damage. 4.3k damage and over 2k blocked. Let's see what we got for this game on Ensk. This was just ridiculous. An ace tanker game in the Chrysler K in a game that only lasted just over 4 minutes. A bit ridiculous if you ask me. So everyone, knowing that a lot of people don't like this tank, I still hope you did enjoy the video though. This video was made just to let you form your own opinion on the Chrysler K and the overpowered premium tanks at the moment in World of Tanks. I hope this video entertained you and if it did then please consider leaving a like as I did put a lot of time into making this video as usual. And subscribe if you haven't already. I will hopefully see each and every one of you in the next video. Bye guys!